friends, welcome back to Kim Pins and happy July. It is July 1st, so hi mom, happy birthday. Uh, if y'all see my mom, wish her happy birthday today. Uh, so yeah, July 1st, welcome. Welcome to a whole new month today. What are we doing today? Well, uh, I'm gonna be doing something that I think will come in handy for camping. So hopefully if you're doing some camping this 4th of July weekend, you can whip this up real quick. It is promised to be in the pin a five minute craft. We'll see, although maybe we won't see because I'm not using my sewing machine on this even though the pin uses a sewing machine. Y'all know, it's... Uh, so I'm just gonna hand sew this because it's literally two stitches. Well, two like lines of, I think it'll be pretty quick is the moral of the story and what I'm getting at. So today we are gonna be making a washcloth soap holder. So the idea is you know, you fold up your washcloth and then you turn this all inside out and you got your little pocket so you can put your soap in it and then wash and it like carries your soap and also helps wash you. So we're gonna give it a try. What I have done here is cut my washcloth in half. The pin I think had bigger cloths. So I just cut mine in half because it looked like it would fit a bar of soap. And I will say the pin actually said, just eyeball it, it's okay. So, <laughs> Already I'm on board, you know? Uh, I've got my ribbon here, obviously my supplies. So this is roughly six inches of ribbon. I eyeballed that too. Uh, so we're gonna place this in. So I've got an older washcloth here uh, that I don't really care about. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just sew here and sew here and then in theory, I'll be done. In the pin, the pin creator had cut, it almost looks like it was cut out of more of like a dishcloth size towel. So the pin creator had to finish this this edge here. I don't because I just cut my washcloth in half, so I really just have to sew here and here, and I should be done. We always used to go camping when I was a kid on 4th of July. We had this pop-up camper, so we camped a lot. It was nice to have the pop-up camper, but you know, I, I cannot say enough good things about summer in New York. I don't know how many people really camp in Texas in July. It's pretty hot. I could clamp in Texas in July if, uh, you know, my, my cabin has AC. Yeah. So this one might be more for my northerners who might actually be going camping on 4th of July. But yeah, comment below. Do y'all have any plans for the 4th? I think we're just going to do some burgers on the grill. And uh, it's actually mine and Jordan's anniversary on 4th of July. What's fun about our neighborhood, our neighborhood lit up with fireworks last year. And I don't know if it's like because there weren't really any public displays because of COVID, but yeah, it was like on every street, there were multiple people setting off fireworks, which was fun because it was our wedding. So it was like free fireworks on our wedding. So I'm hoping to see that again. Everyone was pretty safe, seemed like, so no big worries there. Fireworks are fun. <laughs> when we went to a baseball game last month, I forget when it was. They, every Friday night they have fireworks and I just, I don't know, I get like giddy like a child fireworks. I was like cheering for them. So I'm hoping that our neighborhood shows up again, but I hope whatever you're doing, you're being safe and hopefully there'll be some nice outdoor fireworks displays. I'm still, you know, not trying to be in big crowds, but there's lots of fun outdoor stuff that you can do for 4th of July that, you know, you don't have to be close to people for. I don't know, I've always really liked 4th of July. Probably because July is like my favorite month in New York. So growing up, it was always just like a fun holiday. So now I'm just gonna sew up this other side real quick. All right, I've got both sides sewn. I should have used a string other than white so I could see where the stitching was, but uh, lessons learned. So if you do this with a white washcloth, it's a little bit easier if you can see your edges. In the pin, they had that they trimmed the edges. Uh, I am not gonna do that because of the way my washcloth is. The towel that was used in the pin had a, a more bulky seam. So I can see why they'd want to trim that off there, but these are just pretty much a finished edge. So I'm going to flip it inside out and see how we did. Okay. So here we go. We've got our little ribbon holder. It is not square. Uh, this is part of, it was really hard to see where I was sewing. It would be more straight if I had used the sewing machine, but just, you know, first attempt, I'm not mad at that. Uh, so you slip your soap inside, right? And it holds your soap and then you just get it wet and do that. So I 
I'm looking forward to testing this out. I actually stopped using loofahs probably in like the past year because uh, they are plastic and bad for the environment. Super easy to make. So let's rate it. Cost. Cost is really good. This is a washcloth that I had at home so I didn't mind uh, cutting it up and that washcloth will make two of these. So that's cool. And it was just like a pack of washcloths from Target, which I think is like $4 for a four pack or something really good like that. So you could make a bunch for yourself for like four bucks. I had the ribbon, so I already expensed that to other things long ago. So it feels like it's free. Um, but you could also use like a little scrap of fabric if you have that. So don't feel like you have to go run out and buy ribbon. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a five out of five on cost. Cause I didn't personally have to go buy anything. But even if I did, be like, what, a dollar for the washcloth? Likeability. So far I'm gonna give it a five because again, I think it's gonna uh, really benefit me in my life. So yeah, five out of five on likeability. Ease of following instructions. So here's what I really liked about the instructions. Yes, it was easy. I'm gonna give it a five. But what I also really liked, so the pin creator had pictures and like little captions with the pictures. So if you are a visual person, you could see that. But then there was also just listed out steps that were just words. So if you're a words person, you're covered there as well. So I really liked that it had both. So I'm gonna give it five out of five on ease of following instructions. And then should you make it versus should you buy it? I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna be buying washcloths one way or the other, I suppose. You could upcycle. If you have an old towel that you're not using anymore, definitely upcycle some of this. Uh, that would be really cool. I might actually do that now that I've thought about it. Uh, so yeah, make it. It was very easy. It's a great way to practice very simple sewing skills if you need to practice. So yeah, I'd say make it. So yeah, overall, I'm going to give those crafts a 10 out of 10, y'all. Again, I think this would be great for camping. I hope if y'all are going camping this weekend for 4th of July, you have fun. Be safe with the fire. <laughs> And overall, just be safe on your 4th of July. Again, comment below. Let me know what you're doing. I'd love to hear from you all. And if you like this video, like this video. If you didn't like this video, like this video. Subscribe, comment, share, all the social things. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy July. Happy birthday, Mom. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.